Remember, phones on silent, but tweet like mad things. That would be awesome. Um, so uh, I think over to Adrian and Ilona now. Um, yeah, Adrian, everybody, Adrian, Ilona, Adrian, Ilona, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, th thank you very much. C can you hear us? Uh, are the microphones on? Oh, I should have done a little bit of housekeeping, shouldn't I? I just got carried away. Right. Right, Sorry. See, let's see. We've tried Sorry this before. So let's... Hello. Wi-Fi is MetNet, and then your badges do the thing. My badge fell off. Uh, yeah. Fire yeah. exit that way. Yeah. Toilets yeah. over there. Ladies upstairs. Gents downstairs. Okay. okay, I'm done. You carry on. Sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect. So uh, thank you very much for the uh, introduction. Um, hello, WordCam. Uh, good morning. Thank you for turning up uh, for our talk in such a huge number. So that's fantastic. We are afraid the first talk. There won't be anybody, but look at that. So thank you so much. Um, so before we go into our journey, and before we uh, give you some of our insights into how to build an innovative WordPress agency, uh, let me introduce ourselves. Um, my name is Ilona Filippi. I'm the managing director and co-founder of Move Agency. And together with my business partner, Adrian Restancha, who's our art director, um, we built an agency of uh, 12 people. We're spread across three locations. So we're um, some sort of hybrid between remote teams and office-based environment. And uh, the journey that we will take you on uh, spans the past five years. And uh, this presentation uh, is, uh, is uh, divided into two parts. So in the first part, Adrian will walk you through the actual history. And in the second part, I'll, I'll summarize some sort of insights from a um, co-founder's perspective. So now over to you, Adrian. Okay, cool. So uh, it all starts with, uh, with this picture, which is actually a five-year-old selfie. Uh, this image shows uh, the first day of move. It was taken on a February morning in 2010. And it's the first day when me and Ilona started working, working together as a team. Uh, we were five years younger, I had more hair, and Ilona had no gray hair. Uh, <laughs> so it, uh, it all starts with the humble beginnings. And uh, with these two beauties, which were our first computers, we bought them from, uh, from Gumtree for 300 pounds, and we proudly placed them on a desk in our shared office space in East London. Uh, it was a good start. We had, yeah, we had some machines, but that was not it. We also had a .NET magazine subscription. So we were keeping, keeping up with the trends and with all the amazing things that were, they were done back then. Uh, we were full of enthusiasm and positive energy, but had no idea how to run a creative business. Uh, and we wanted to do everything, like web, print, mobile. And we knew that in order to get some work, we needed a website. So we created this beauty, which was our first website, and we titled ourselves Creative Web Design Agency. Um, then we started getting some inquiries. Happy days. Uh, and because we were busy later in the year, we've decided that we needed some helping hands. So we made our first additions to the team. So we've got our first interns, an account manager, and a designer. Uh, we used to get like several type of projects, and I'm going to highlight three of them because uh, I want to show how, how diverse our portfolio was. So this is one, one website that we've created uh, for, for a company called Momu. And uh, back then, was quite an innovative project because basically we all know that five years ago the internet was slow, pages took a lot of time to load, and everything was like, yeah, kind of like moving slow. So we thought, okay, how can we find an innovative way to, to show the content quicker to the, to the users? So what we did, we just came up with an idea of a slider. So basically, uh, the navigation of the, of the whole website was guided with, uh, with the use of the slider. And everything was into one page. So what you are looking at now, it's basically a one-page website. The only difference is that instead of going from up to down, as it works now, it was going from left to right. So it's, yeah. And we are talking about the internet six years ago. So the client loved it. We were really excited about it. And it was a very, very nice project that we actually kept in our portfolio for quite a while. Uh, and as we were just starting up, everything was really interesting. And we, was, we were very excited about every challenge. So we were saying yes to everything. Uh, this is how we end up doing this, uh, this mobile app, which we really enjoyed working on. Uh, and another example, just to show how diverse the portfolio was. We, uh, what you are looking at now, it's a preview. Uh, of an online platform from trading options. It was quite a complex proje project, and believe it or not, it's working even today in almost the same format. Uh, moving on, 2011 was the year of the discoveries, and that's right, that's where we discover WordPress, and we love it. 
Uh, it all happened when uh, we attended our, the first WordCamp in Portsmouth and we came back fully convinced that WordPress is the way to go. Uh, we were super excited about this open source CMS and we started looking around for people that can help us to take, the, take our business to the next level. Uh, the plan was to start delivering WordPress websites as a core service for our agency. And that's when we meet this guy. Uh, this guy is Lucas. He, at that time, he was a freelance web, uh, WordPress developer, and now he's the team leader of our Czech hub. Uh, we also got our new office. It was quite a nice one, actually, but the, wind, the window view was not that great, as you can see that <laughs> lovely wall. But it was quite nice and spacious, so yeah, good one. Uh, so now we have a, a new office. We have a team of five people delivering WordPress websites to our clients. So we are a WordPress agency now. Uh, in 2012, we've entered what we like to call the top league. And I'm saying this because that's when PokerStars selected Move Agency as one of their agency for supporting one of, our, of their WordPress websites. And that was really amazing. Uh, we went up working with PokerStars for several years and we formed a successful partnership that we're really proud of. So it all starts to feel that we are actually doing something right. Uh, we are getting more work and find ourselves in the position of needing more helping hands. So we've hired another developer and we started our check office. Uh, and later in the year, everything seems to go on, on our way. And by, I'm saying this because we've partnered with a social media agency and we've pitched and won both the design and build for Toyota and Lexus blogs. Uh, that felt even better, really. So uh, we, we really loved uh, the feeling of pitching and we were always ready to go the extra mile to, to, win, to win a project that we wanted to work on. Uh, so we ended up creating some awesome stuff for, for Toyota and some really nice designs for, for Lexus. And we are also six. As the year finishes, we made a few hires uh, just to, to expand the team. And one cool thing, we bought a coffee machine. So we are a real company now. Uh, 2013 is the year of the coffee machine. So the rumor spread around this London that Move has this amazing coffee machine that is doing this super cool coffee. So uh, this is the entrance to our office after that. Uh, uh, so the coffee gives us more energy as well. We are winning more work. And we need more people. So we're expanding again. And we hire another developer in our check hub. So we are seven now. Uh, we had to keep the steady course because we, we liked the position where we were. Uh, and 2014 is the year where we start getting more involved into the Word, WordPress community. And by, we were really, uh, we were true WordPress fans at that point and we wanted to, to give something back to the community. Uh, that's when Ilona steps in and shares some, some of our company insights at, the, at WordCamp London in 2013. Business-wise, we are also winning some work uh, with a strong team behind us, we are in a great position to get larger and more complex projects. Our client base changes from small companies to medium-sized businesses, and we are becoming WordPress experts. Uh, it's not all about work. Uh, we value our company culture as well, and we take every opportunity to bring our team together. So later in that year, we organized our first team building in Czech, in Czech Republic, and it was really, really good. Uh, 2015, giving back to WordPress. Uh, we continue to be fully uh, involved with the WordPress community by speaking at both WordCamp London and WordCamp Europe, and we are also part of the organizing team of WordCamp London. Uh, early in the year, we open our Romanian hub and we add two more members to the team, and the best thing is we get a new home in, in London, so we are moving in this nice office space that's now branded with move, move colors. Also, in Czech Republic, the Czech team is moving into, into a larger office as well, so we are growing. Uh, 2015 was also the year when we released our first open source WordPress plugin. We were very excited about it because it's something that we wanted to do for a long time. We've done bespoke plugins and complex integrations for a while, but finally we found some time to do a proper release of a plugin to the WordPress repository. Since then, we've built a few others, so we have six plugins at the moment, so I encourage you to check them out. Uh, they are on GitHub and there's also a link on our blog uh, to, to the GitHub page. Uh, the big thing, our client change has changed, our client base has changed, and our team has grown, so uh, we need to look different as well on the web. So we've, uh, we've decided to give a complete facelift to our website. We look now like a mature company, we have an amazing client portfolio and a great looking site. And we also uh, shared the Move Development Kit on GitHub. 
Uh, we use Sage as a starter team for rapid development, and that ties closely with our design workflow. And last year I had a talk at this conference about our design workflow, so it's on Word, WordPress TV. If you want, you can have a look there. Um, in terms of development, we follow strict WordPress guidelines. So Move Development Kit is a mix of our development expertise and hours of work from our development teams. Please check it out. There's, uh, there's the link. And to keep the tradition alive, we organize another team building retreat, this time in Romania, because we had the new office. Uh, this is a picture of us doing a happy jump after we had a two hour session of quiet biking, which was really, really good. So yeah, it was great. Um, and as a combination of a great team and exciting project, all, all these lead to the production of innovative case studies that we are really proud of. We always try to be creative, showcase our work in interesting ways, and also have some fun. Uh, that's why, uh, that's what internal projects are for in the end. Uh, one of those case studies that I want to show you today is the one we've produced for our client, Nacro. Um, what we've tried to do with this, we try to experiment and display the content in an interesting and unique way in order to showcase the excellent work our team has done. Uh, the case study is again based on a slider concept supported by some great copy and some slick animations. So I'm going to show you now how this thing works. Mm -hmm. So while Adrian changes the screens, um, uh, I'll, I'll say a couple of words. So essentially, uh, this NACRA case study, um, what we wanted to achieve with it is that our case studies are, uh, well, quite, quite complex, quite advanced in terms of the content and what we're trying to communicate because the projects are uh, quite large. And what we wanted to make sure is that people actually read the content and, and they, they really uh, understand the message that we wanted to put across. So uh, this slider concept allowed us uh, to take the whole, the whole viewport of a user screen and display one key message per slide. Uh, on top of it, we have some nice animations, some images. So we believe the, the user engagement with the content was much higher. So one of those things that we wanted to achieve is, uh, uh, was, was, was completed. The second, um, because we were doing uh, the case studies that are the usual scrolling, scrolling case studies uh, for a while, um, we thought, what, can we do something else? Could we do something that would be a nice user experience for iPads, for example? So again, we revived this concept of Momu, and uh, we, we did this slider left and right, which, which we really like. So um, these kind of internal projects really uh, is uh, something that gives us a lot of energy and, and enthusiasm for our work. Okay, let me just go back. Right, um, and another project that we are really proud of uh, was the website for Cube Global Software. Again, we tried to showcase it in a different way. So alongside the case study on our website, we created this video that I'm going to play right now. Cube Global is a leading property and facility management software supplier worldwide. With nearly 40 years of trading history, over 200 employees and offices around the world, they were looking for an innovative WordPress agency. We agency stood out because we saw that we had some very skilled individuals who worked directly with, and that's really what we wanted. We had a small team who had access to those expertise. Cube has a marketing partner that's quite advanced, um, they're digital savvy, they get digital, so they wanted a solution that will allow them to have absolute freedom. That's why they wanted WordPress, that's why they wanted a content management system that will allow them this flexibility. We tuned in to the desires of the end user and committed ourselves to finding the most powerful way for them to engage and interact with the website. To enable their marketing team to update the site's content with ease, we utilized WordPress multi-site and set a new standard for managing global websites. I think it's a huge improvement on what we've got at the moment. It's a much fresher, more modern running campaigns and events. I feel like it's actually a tool that I can use now to promote those. The project overall was a quality project and we did a fantastic job. We have already seen an uptick in visitors, which is great, uh, and also, more importantly, an uptick in the number of inquiries that we generate. Right, so uh, now we are five, five years old. Uh, we've created a very nice anniversary page on our website. 
Uh, the journey has been amazing and we've grown from a team of two to an amazing company of 12 people. But the most important thing is that we are feeling great and we are really enthusiastic about all, all everything that we are doing. Uh, we'll never stop discovering, innovating and most importantly keep our standards high to deliver the best work. If any of you guys uh, want to wish us, uh, send us some nice wishes, that's the URL. We've launched this a few months ago. We thought we are going to receive wishes from our family and friends, but we actually got 150 so far. So yeah, we're really, really excited for, for that. And thank you very much for all of you who, who sent us a nice, a nice wish to the website. Uh, and now I'm going to hang over to Ilona for the second part of our talk, okay, which perfect. is yeah, the insights. The okay. insights. So thank you so much, Adrian. All right, so uh, what are the insights? Um, I try to summarize uh, things that we learned over our five-year journey, and uh, there'll be uh, insights from the founder's perspective. Uh, if you're thinking about starting an agency or if you're already running an agency, uh, maybe you'll find them useful. Uh, it's something we, we came across and uh, we wished it. If we started our agency again, that uh, we knew some of those things that I'll walk you through. So first one, uh, timeline. Because I do a lot of project management at MOVE, uh, I like timelines. And in this case, however, the timeline relates uh, to how long it takes to build a successful, maybe even inspirational agency. And when we, me and Adrian started the agency back uh, in the days, we never really thought about the time frame so much. Uh, all we knew is we want to work for ourselves and we just wanted to get, get uh, to work as soon as possible. But now, uh, five years into the journey, um, knowing more, uh, looking around at other agencies, the inspirational agencies, um, the kind of uh, businesses that we aspire to be one day, uh, we do notice that they are on the market for at least 10 to 15 years. So uh, if, if there is something uh, to consider um, before setting up an agency or if you're thinking about it, um, the time frame is quite large. Uh, agency type of business is not um, something that you can do overnight. It won't be overnight success. Um, there won't be quick exit in a few years. It, it might be a journey of 10 to 15 years or more. And for many of us, uh, it is uh, probably our life's project, really. So that's on that timeline. The second uh, success criteria, uh, it's something I would say quite important because um, defining your own success criteria will help you uh, to build your agency um, that will eventually uh, fulfill your dreams and will become what you want it to be. So um, define your own. Uh, in terms of move agency, uh, one of those success criteria that's really, really important for us is the quality of the work. So uh, every year we look back at our portfolio and uh, we, we really critically look at uh, the work we've done and we have to feel like we've done something that was much better than the year before. We're always after bigger, more complex, more innovative projects. We always try to do something different. Um, the concept of Momu that uh, uh, Adrian showed back in the days, again, it came out of the idea that why do websites have to take so long to load? Every time you click on a link, it takes five seconds and the whole page reloads. That's why we came with the concept of slider. Everything was one page websites. And back in the days, nobody was doing it. So these kind of things uh, really uh, fulfill our passion for what we do. And the second is the work-life balance. And that's really important to us uh, because both me and Adrian believe that we all should have a life uh, outside of work. And we're very proud that at Move Agency we can bring that not only to ourselves as founders, but to the whole team. So uh, things like we never work weekends, we close our agency for two weeks over Christmas. We literally shut down, we, we don't do anything. Uh, we, have, uh, we don't take projects that have stressful timelines because we don't want that for ourselves, for our team. So this, this, these kind of success criteria were always very important for us from the beginning and that's how we build the agency. So defining your own, uh, that would be my advice, because then you will create something that, that really pleases you and um, that fulfills what you wanted to do, achieve uh, when you started out. So the next one, uh, finances. Uh, if you're only thinking about starting agency, you might be wondering uh, where to take the money um, to start a business. And uh, luckily, in our industry, you probably know um, you don't need that much. All you need is internet access and a laptop your skill and uh, the hard work, determination and the time you put into it. So essentially uh, the initial investment into the company will be done in the form of you putting much more work into it than you get paid for. That's 
you can't go around it. If you're not prepared to do that, then maybe it's not a good idea to start business. But on the other hand, if you're enthusiastic, if that's what you want to do, it's not a problem, you do that. Um, when me and Adrian started, we paid ourselves, I think, a thousand pounds or less per month um, because we wanted to withdraw from the company as little as we could so that everything else could be reinvested back to the business. And then after six months, I came to Adrian and I said, Adrian, my personal expenses are 1,500 pounds per month. I don't think I'll be able to do this for very long. So we increased our salary to 1,500 and finally we were breaking even. So it was a big, uh, big milestone. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you can build an agency with no budget, but uh, the thing you have to do always is to reinvest the money back. And that's what we do with Adrian until today. Fortunately, we can pay ourselves the market value for our skills, but uh, everything else we put back to the business. So that's uh, either it's uh, better equipment, larger office space, team retreats, competitive salaries, all that is always reinvested back to the business. And we believe that's really important uh, if we want the agency to grow. So uh, the next one, marketing. Um, so how to market your agency? From my perspective, um, there are what I call three pillars of that. Uh, one is the obvious portfolio. Your portfolio will always get you the next project. So uh, that's why we put so much emphasis on, on trying to find the best possible project we can and always thinking whether the project we're, uh, we're currently working on will get us to the next level. And we don't worry to put extra effort into it and go the extra mile because we know the portfolio is really what does the talking for us. The second is uh, what I call um, that marketing is the total sum of everything we do at Move Agency. And that means um, the way we answer the phone calls, how fast we respond to the clients, um, how reliable we are, delivering on time. All of these things, um, I believe, are doing the talking for us. And as you know, the best marketing method is the word of mouth. So if your clients are satisfied, they're going to tell other people and you really don't have to worry about marketing. And the last pillar is sharing your knowledge. As you know, uh, inbound marketing or content marketing, uh, I truly believe this is one of the most powerful ways to market yourself. Um, so we try to uh, write blog posts, do presentations, um, share resources such as our development guidelines, etc. And we never pay for any advertising. The only sponsorship we do is uh, for WordCamps because we know the money goes right back to the community. So that, that's all we do. So that's on marketing. The next one, uh, team and culture. Um, there has been so much said about team and culture that I won't go into mm, too many details. I'll just summarize a couple of key points from our perspective. So um, as you know, being in a service industry, the work is eventually delivered uh, by the people who work for you or work with you. Um, so the team is really the, the crucial asset, uh, the most important asset that you have. Um, so how to build a great team and culture? Uh, it all starts with successful hiring, of course. Um, so for us, we always look uh, for people who are very good in what they do. They have the skill, but at the same time, they're reliable, accountable, they get things done, uh, and they're nice people to be around. The best hires we do, uh, we've done were people who were incredibly good, in, incredibly good in what they do, and at the same time, uh, very humble people. That's the combination that works for us and fit our team culture. And the second part of building the, the team is obviously nurturing talent. So once you, um, once you find, find the right people in, how do you make sure that they stay with you and they're happy? So in our industry, as we know, um, we are very fortunate because the kind of benefits that we get, I don't think many other industries have. So uh, work from wherever you want, whatever hours you want, however you want unlimited teas, coffees, parties, retreats, uh, you know, you, you name it. And I think that's all great. But at the same time, I believe that smart, uh, driven people are looking for more. And again, that comes back to the type of work that they're working on. And that's why we, uh, me and Adrian, we take it as our biggest job responsibility to make sure that we bring to the agency the best possible projects we can so that our people uh, really, really love coming to work and, and feeling like they're growing professionally uh, technically, creatively. So, um, yeah, investing into team and culture, of course, one of those most important things. Uh, the next one, innovation. So that's something uh, I'm uh, personally passionate about and it's part of the DNA at Move Agency. Um, we really try to innovate and improve everything. So it starts obviously with the work, but it doesn't finish just there. We look at every single 
touch point that a client has with our business or every single process that we have internally and we really try to improve it. So that goes from improving even our pitches. Every time we do a new pitch, we want it to be better than the one before. So that's, that's how we judge our success against and that's what I personally believe ensures that um, or helps us to move the agency forward. Um, okay, uh, rewards. Uh, so why should you even start the agency? Uh, from my perspective, um, it's, a, it's a very unique journey. Uh, you can't have the same kind of experience doing something else. It's similar to that once in a lifetime trip around the world. No amount of reading will give you the experience. You really have to go and do it. And it's the same with uh, running a business or agency. If you truly believe uh, that this is what you want to do, then I encourage you to do it. It's exhilarating, it's fantastic, it's, it's good fun, it's challenging as well. You'll be growing as a person and it's uh, the best job in the world if that's what you really want to do. Okay, and before I go, I'll leave you with words of Amancio Ortega. I hope I read his name uh, correctly. Um, most of you probably don't know who he is. Uh, however, he's the founder of many fashion brands. Um, one of the most famous is Zara. Maybe you're his customers as well. Um, so Amancio is now 80 years old, but he still goes to work every day, which I think is testament to the uh, company that he created. And he, he left us with uh, four advices about how to build a successful business, which really align with what I believe about business. So, I will read it uh, to you in case you can read the small writing. So first of all, uh, very important, give customers what they want and give it to them quickly. Second, sell goods of highest quality and you will not have to pay for advertising. The best marketing will be done for you by your satisfied customers. Three, your fortune is in your hands. Work on yourself, do what you enjoy and go after your goals relentlessly. Four, stay with your feet on the ground and stay yourself. All right, so I hope we've given you some useful insights. I uh, hope we entertain you with our journey. Uh, we wish you all the best. Enjoy yours, celebrate your successes, have lots of fun, and good luck. And, uh, thank you very much, Adrian, Ilona. That was a really fascinating journey to join you on, and thank you very much as well for the, the great insights and the sort of learnings you've had along the way. Uh, do we have any questions from the floor now? I'm, I'm mindful that, okay, we'll jump straight into questions from the floor. That's great. There was, if you just, I don't know, are we take who people are? You can do if you like. Go on, see you, that's fine. Hi, my name is Carl and um, I mean, that's a fantastic journey and, and I've seen a handful of agencies who followed a similar path. Um, but you make it sound like you just opened up the shop and the customers turned up. What were the key things that you did to get those initial first few customers? Uh, well, we, we were both freelancing for a while, so we had a bunch of projects that we've already done before. So what we did, we just we put together a portfolio and we built a website and that was it. We haven't done any sort of like promotion or something. It was all through Google. And it was, the, the good part was that some of our freelance clients, we've put them into the business straight away. So they, they kept paying us and we had some money to, to move on initially. That's yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a good question, a good point. Uh, we didn't start overnight. We, yeah. we were freelancers, full-time freelancers already. So we had yeah. our income stream. But when we came together uh, for the idea of building an agency, we slowly moved over our freelance kind of streams of incomes and projects into one pot. And, that's how we launched, yeah. Yeah, I, I can concur. That's actually how the human made story works as well. Freelance stuff coming in, mm -hmm. and it's quite common. Uh, we'll take some from more in here as well, here and here. But if there's people outside, actually, there's a lot of people outside watching on screens as well. So, John, could you just check if anyone wants to ask a question outside? We might come to them afterwards. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is uh, Ross McIntyre. I'm actually looking to start my freelancing in, in, uh, in WordPress. Um, when you were starting out, you've just told as that you were freelance before Move was born. Were you subcontracting any work out? Did you find any difficulties that work was coming in you didn't really know how to fulfill it? Yeah, well, initially it was just me and Adrian. Um, so I was more on the project management side and Adrian was design, so we didn't have development. So that's how we started to work with our currently team lead of Czech, uh, uh, Czech Hub. Uh, he was a freelance web developer and because we didn't have enough work to sustain anybody full time, 
we used uh, freelancers at, at that point. But then when the work picked up and we could see that we're essentially <laughs> utilizing uh, uh, Lucas full time, uh, we all came together and we said, well, we need to do something. And that's how we set up our, our, our check hub. He hired our first uh, developer and uh, the rest is history. We just kept adding people. Great, okay. Okay, uh, do we have any questions from outside yet? No, um, so there's a question there or? Okay, uh, just over there, chap in the blue show. Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, first, thank you for sharing your journey. Uh, I had a quick question. In your experience, what is one of the most common mistakes that most new agencies make? And kind of how did you go about avoiding making that mistake yourselves? Or what did you learn from possibly making that mistake yourselves? What do you think? Uh, well, that's a good one. Uh, well, sometimes some projects might sound way more exciting than they are. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what I think, uh, the way how we work now is we have to like the client as well and the client have to like us too. Uh, I think some mistakes that we've made was we started working with some people that initially everything was looking nice and shiny and then after we started the projects, they started to like put more tasks, expand the specs and everything, and the project turned up being a nightmare. And this doesn't happen now anymore. It's actually, we've, we fixed that. But initially we were just like, yeah, newbies and excited about any kind of work. So we didn't really think, okay, does this project have a future for us or not? We just went for it just, just to have it. Now we are looking at it differently. We're saying, okay, is this going to turn up in a really nice case study? Yes or no? Uh, do we like the client? We actually ask them, why do you want to work with us? And if they come up with a nice answer, then yeah, happy days. If not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's a minus. So uh -huh. yeah, great, thanks. Okay, do we have any more questions from the floor? Oh yes, just over there, just behind you. <coughs> Hi guys, thanks very much for the talk. Um, you mentioned um, that you set up like a street strategic partnership uh, with I think a social media company to help you get those big jobs with Toyota and Lexus. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that came about? Did you go and search out that kind of relationship or did that kind of just happen or how did that come about? Uh, well, we, we've built a website for, uh, for a guy. It was called the Tennis Space. And it was just word of mouth. Like, we built this WordPress website for this guy. This guy knew the owner of the social media agency, so he introduces us to him. They were looking for WordPress developers, and this is how it all started. We had a meeting, and since then, yeah, we're still friends. So, so, so the word of mouth, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have you, since, since that was a success, have you gone out and tried to form more of those kind of partnerships? Well, uh, we didn't really... Uh, ever in the movie history make too much effort for in proactive marketing. We, we really rely on people finding us or uh, clients telling other clients or clients coming back. Um, we never really did uh, look out for, for other agencies. Um, yeah, we're not against it, uh, but currently uh, what our ambition is uh, to, to talk to clients directly. So <laughs> moving, uh, serving these big clients directly. So that's where we put our efforts now, rather. Thank you. Um, did you find the transition from being freelancers and developers yourselves to business owners and responsible for the accounts and business development and your sales pipeline, that whole process, did you find that a difficult transition and how did you manage that? Mm -hmm. that's a, uh, yeah, very good question. Uh, so. Uh, well, somehow naturally, because Adrian is more creative, so he was always uh, doing the creative part of the business. I was more the project management business, um, something that I really like naturally, and that's what I want to do uh, always, and even more so. So um, we didn't find it difficult in terms of that uh, we w I would be developer and then I would be torn uh, away from development and had to do that. That's what I always wanted to do. I'm more businesswoman than uh, anything else. So uh, we didn't find it that difficult and we always knew that we need to create uh, the team that will be able to, to deliver the works. So uh, that particular uh, problem wasn't, wasn't our challenge. Uh, Adrian was designer 
And he always said very clearly, I don't have anything to do with business, which really helped us to define the roles uh, early on very, very nicely. And that's probably one of those advices maybe next time I can, uh, I can add to our insights. When you um, have co-founders, it's good to separate the roles very clearly so that um, somebody is responsible for part of the business fully. So um, I don't give uh, advices to Adrian about how to do art direction at all. Um, maybe he asks me for opinion, but that's Only it. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yes. Um, and on the, other, uh, on, on the other hand, I have almost total freedom with uh, business and, uh, and all of those things related to that. Yeah? Okay. Um, well, we're, we're about five minutes before we finish. Actually, I have one question. Um, so you, you've given us a journey about the last five years. Mm. Have you got any particular objectives or things you really want to hit in the next five years? Yeah, that's a good question. Do you want to answer from your perspective? Uh, well, we want, we want to expand the client base. That's the first thing. And our dream is to work with big names, but also create amazing work. So this is really what drives us through, and this is what we want to do. We just want to, to grow, obviously, uh, win, win better projects, do something for like bigger clients. But also, uh, one of my personal goals is I really like to work surrounded by talented people, so I would be really happy if the team is going to expand and is going to acquire really, really talented people because this is how you, you can deliver the best work, really. It's all about the team. So, yeah. Yeah. so keep, I guess keep, uh, keep on doing uh, what we've been doing uh, so far, uh, increasing the team, um, nurturing the talent, as I spoke about it, trying to uh, speak to uh, big uh, global brands directly um, when, when their projects and continue on the journey. Uh, we think five years in the in agency world is still quite young, so uh, <laughs> we think a lot, some, some time in front of us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Adrian. Thank you, Lona. Do we have any more questions from outside? No? Okay. Well, thank you very much, and uh, good luck for the next five years. Thank you very much. Thank you.